Hi there, my name is Jana, and today I want to chat about my HSG procedure, which stands for whatever the heckers I wrote down here in the title that I can't pronounce and I'm not going to try. Um, I think it's just a standard procedure that my fertility clinic ordered that basically is an image of your uterus and fallopian tubes that makes sure that there's not anything going on in there anatomically or otherwise that would impact fertility. So they look for uterine scarring, for fibroids, for polyps, to make sure your fallopian tubes are nice and open and that the shape of your uterus and everything like that is good. So. Before I get started, I kind of have a bone to pick with a couple of you because I think I mentioned in my last video that I was going to have to get this HSG done and a couple of you reached out to me who had already had this done and you guys made it seem like it was not going to be a big deal and if you have to get this done, I don't want to freak you out because it wasn't that big of a deal, but it was definitely a bigger deal than you made it seem to me and it was definitely more painful than I thought it was gonna be. I think it's important to have realistic expectations and mine were not. Or maybe I just have a lower pain tolerance than you guys, I don't know. But anyways, this is how it happened. So you have to, before you get this done, you have to take antibiotics prophylactically. So before you get the procedure done, you and your partner actually, because you and your partner are likely gonna be interacting if you know what I mean. So you guys both have to take antibiotics to make sure that you don't get an infection from the dye that they use in this particular HSG imaging. Um, so my husband and I both took a Z-Pack, which is a five day course of azithromycin, which is an antibiotic. And I had to explain to him like a million and one times why we were both taking this. What do you want from me? Well, can, can you just describe to me again? I don't understand the reasoning behind what we're doing and I don't want to take any drugs. Hey. To prevent infection, prophylactically. I don't... Is this registering? No, I don't understand. Okay. But at any rate, he took it. Great. <laughs> Glad we got that done. So the actual HSG procedure, you have to get it done after your period ends, but before you ovulate. And they do that because in case you are pregnant early on, it can impact pregnancy and they don't want that to happen, obviously. So you have to get it done before ovulation. So they recommend by cycle day 10 and they actually wouldn't let me schedule it any later. So basically when my period started, I called the imaging lab to try and get something scheduled. And in my city, this particular imaging place has multiple locations and there's one like 10 minutes from my house. So I thought, cool, no big deal. Well, no, they only had one available appointment and it was at a location that's like 45 minutes from my house. And it was on the day that I had scheduled my hair appointment, which is why my roots are so crazy <laughs> because it was either take this appointment or I have to wait a whole other month because you have to do it according to your cycle. So obviously I took the appointment and it was far away, but it was actually kind of nice because I got to like sing and dance in my car on the way over there and like help calm my nerves, which kind of helped out. But anyways, when I got there, I had, I, I think she was like um, some kind of technician, not a doctor or anything. She brought me back to my own big room and there were two other women in there, but they were behind a wall working on some computers and talking amongst themselves. Like definitely not concerned with the fact that I was like in stirrups. <laughs> they were not there for me, but um, I got there and the technician that I was with, like she went through everything that she was going to do and what I could expect and made sure I was super informed. And then she asked me to go to the bathroom, which was attached to my own room and use the bathroom, change into a hospital gown, put on some no slip socks like you would get in a hospital and then come back out. And she had me lay on the imaging table and it's not like a, it's not like a bed or a thing that you would lay on at your doctor's office. Like it was a hard surface table. And then you get into stirrups, just like you would at your ob -gen. And she explained everything she was gonna do as she was doing it. And <laughs> I don't wanna like be graphic, but I felt like she was like wrestling down there. Like she had a speculum and I don't know what else, but there was a lot of like clicking and popping. Like it almost sounded like something cranking. I do not know, but essentially what she had to do was put a balloon. Yes. Like, like a birthday balloon, but maybe not that big, like 
a water balloon? I don't know, a small balloon inside my uterus and attached, it was attached to a catheter, like a string that came out, a tube really. And it was definitely several minutes of discomfort. I don't know if she was like having a hard time or if that's, bless you, blessings. <laughs> I don't know if she was having a hard time or if that's just how it normally goes, but yeah, it seemed like she was wrestling down there. Now I'm just like clinching and closing my eyes and probably squinting and just bearing it. And she keeps asking if I'm doing okay. And I'm like, as good as I could be doing with whatever you're doing to me down there. But anyways, she finally like gets everything set up and she's like, okay, now don't move. <laughs> and she's like, but I need to get your legs flat on the table and out of the stirrups. And I'm like, lady, trust me, I have no desire to make any sudden movements. She's like, okay, because we don't want it to come out. I'm like, yeah, I definitely don't want it to come out. Like, I don't want you to have to redo whatever you just did to me. So I was laying on a sheet and she just came behind me and pulled the sheet with me on it. <laughs> and so it pulled my legs out of the stirrups so that I could like very carefully set them down on the table. And then she put the x-ray or imaging thing over me and started it and she's like okay you're gonna feel some cramping and i'm like yeah i, I feel the cramping I'm like this hurts it's cramping and it, a couple of seconds after i said that i like really felt it and i was like oh like that's what you meant it was like a contraction it really hurt but it was only like a passing second and that was while she was pushing the dye through so it was the fluid and the pressure of just like things where they're not supposed to be in your body's responding like whoa this is wrong um so yeah, but as soon as she pushed the dye through, I could see immediately on the screen um, the image of like my uterus and fallopian tubes, so that was kind of cool. But I could also see the balloon with like a string coming out all the way. It, that was crazy, but I guess it was kind of cool. Um, so she had me on my back so that they could just take front images. And then she helped me tilt my pelvis to each side so that they could take side views. and. Then it was over and she's like, okay, um, I'm gonna take out the balloon and the catheter and once I do, you're gonna feel a lot better. And boy, did I feel a lot better. Yeah, it was like once that thing that wasn't supposed to be up there was removed, my body was like, okay, we are good now. We are gravy. I mean, okay, it wasn't that good. I was still in a little bit of pain, <laughs> but it was a lot better. So um, this is a little bit TMI, but She's like, okay, once you get up, all the fluid's gonna wanna like rush out. So she gave me this like paper sheet kind of thing. And she's like, here, put this between your legs and walk to the bathroom. <laughs> so I did, I put it between my legs and I like waddled to the bathroom, cleaned myself up, got dressed and I came back out. And she's like, you did great, all done. Uh, you can even try tonight if you want to. And I'm like, Okay, number one, that's not like the route I'm going, but even if it was, I just had a balloon up there. Like, I don't want anything else up there disturbing things for like a minute, like a, like a while. Like, definitely not tonight. So I'm like, oh, okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> Hope we don't have to do this again. Um, but immediately after, there was like some blood, not a lot, just a little bit. And they did say that you can expect to be spotting for one to two days after. I had spotting for four days. Like it was nothing major, but like it was definitely there. And they also say that you can cramp, have cramping for five minutes to a couple of hours. And I was definitely on like the couple of hours spectrum. And it wasn't a lot of pain after I left. It was like maybe slightly more than period cramps or maybe like around that range, depending on how severe you're particular cramps are, but it wasn't too bad. Um, they did suggest that I take ibuprofen before and I forgot to, so maybe that would have helped, but I did take it afterwards and it for sure helped. So like I said, it wasn't that bad, but it was just definitely more than I was expecting. Like the balloon was disruptive to say the least, but if you have to get this done, I'm not trying to scare you you can for sure do this. The whole thing took like 15 minutes. So it's like 15 minutes of a little bit of pain and a lot of discomfort. And yeah, you can do it. It's not no big deal, but it's not a big deal. <laughs> so anyways, 
Thanks for listening and hanging out with me. I hope that you have a good day. Be a good human and we'll chat later. Bye.